When we talk about signs and symptoms of cirrhosis, it's important to know that cirrhosis usually doesn't have any signs and symptoms until it's really bad. So until there is extensive damage to the liver, you're not going to see anything. And once we do have that damage, what are some things we can see? Well, the way you can remember is this nice little memory tool. So scarred liver, because that's what cirrhosis is. So S, the patient might be experiencing spider angiomas or spleenomegaly, so an enlarged spleen. C is for clay-colored stools or confusion. A is for ascites, so when you assess them, their tummy will be big and round. R is for redness of the palms. You might have heard of that. That's called palmar erythema, and it's exactly what it sounds like. R is for renal failure. So not everybody who has liver disease also has kidney disease, but oftentimes you do see that. You see that connection where they have both. So the signs of renal failure. E is for early menopause for women and for men enlarged breasts, so that gynecomastia. And then D is they are deficient on pretty much every vitamin and mineral you can think of. Why? Because their liver isn't working as well as it should. It's not processing the nutrients like it's supposed to. And then moving on to the liver part, so L is for loss of appetite, which turns into loss of weight, so weight loss. I is for increased bilirubin, which can be manifested with jaundice, so the yellowing of the skin or mucous membranes. And then the other I is for itching. That's because of the toxins, because it's not filtering out the toxins as well as it's supposed to. V, they might have varices, like esophageal varices. E is for edema, typically seen in the lower extremities. And then R is for reduced platelets and reduced white blood cell count. So they're immunocompromised. 